Do you want to know how to make this transition? Then follow my lead. Hello guys, Glitchy here. I'll be breaking down to you how to make the circle rotation transition in After Effects. We will start off with our clips side by side. Make sure motion blur is enabled before you proceed. I'm going to hit Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate the layers. And now, in Effects and Presets, look up the Tint effect and add it to the bottom layers. You can leave the color as it is. Now, back to the Effects and Presets. Search for the effect Air Swipe Circle and add it to the top layer of the first clip. We will be animating the Y% percent, so click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then move 10 frames forward and increase the value to around 55. Easy is the keyframe and edit the graph like so. We need to make the circle pop out a little bit more. I'm going to duplicate the circle layer. Then, scale the bottom circle to around 105 and lower its opacity to around 50. Add a drop shadow by right clicking on the layer, then navigating to layer styles and selecting drop shadow. Set the distance to around 23 and the size to around 29. Repeat this same process to the second clip. Now we are going to parent the bottom circle to the top. Then we will animate the rotation. Select the top layer and hit R on your keyboard. Click the stopwatch to add a keyframe, then move 10 frames back and add another keyframe. Change the value of the last keyframe to 40. We now need to animate the rotation of the tinted layer. Hit R to bring up rotation, then click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe and move it 10 frames back. Then set the value of the last keyframe to negative 40. Let's proceed to the next clip. Then animate the rotation of the top circle. Click on the stopwatch to enable the keyframes. Since we set the first circle rotation to 40, then move the keyframe 10 frames forward. The second one will be negative 40. Animate the rotation of the tinted layer the same way. Add a keyframe to rotation and move it 10 frames forward. Then set the rotation value to 40 at the beginning of the clip. And lastly, let's move to the graph editor. Don't forget to easy ease the keyframes, then follow how I edit the graphs. Sorry, I forgot to mention one very important point. Don't forget to add the motion tile to your tint layers. And this is how the transition should look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please comment down below on some more transitions that you would like to see a tutorial. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.